hey, let me tell you liberals something. You will take that hot, juicy cheeseburger out of my cold, dead hands. This is Take That with Kurt Schlichter. Democrats had a war on Christmas. They had a war on Christians. Now they've got a war on carne. That is meat, beautiful, delicious meat, red, marbled, juicy, yummy, beef, pork, and lesser meats like lamb and bison and sheep and stuff. Well, that that kind of is lamb. Anyway, anyway. Democrats hate me. Why are Democrats warring on me? You got AOC with her Green New Deal talking about flatulent cattle. That's code, people. That's code for ending our ability to eat massive quantities of delicious bloody protein. What's the alternative? Some sort of weird vegan tofu stuff? Forget it. Not selling. Not buying it. Not going to accept it. I'm going to have my porterhouse, my sirloin, my New York, my delicious bone-in ribeye. Why? Because I want it. Because I'm an American and I'll eat what I damn well please. Now, what is the underlying uh, thing about this fetish against Americans eating meat? Because it's really out there. You look at Cory, Cory Booker's a vegan. Now, look, I'm not going to judge him because as he you know, has this bizarre heresy where he doesn't eat the delicious meat that God gave us to, to consume. Um, you know, you know that's, that's his jam, and that's fine. But see, when, these guys, you know, these, these guys often become kind of like crossfitters. That is, they can't talk about anything else except how great their personal obsession is. And their personal obsession with not eating meat always seems to bounce back and become their personal obsession with me not eating meat. And homie, don't play that stuff. Because I'm having a sizzling tea bone and there's nothing they can do about it look I get that they don't like the environmental effects of meat you know uh, raising cattle they, they they create methane you know with their uh, tooting uh, they uh, you know need a lot of space and you know all these other things and I, I, I just don't care that's fine you know things that you want cost something everything has a cost uh, they're very, very concerned, you know, apparently uh, the fact that you and I can get a Big Mac is somehow going to cause the oceans to rise or something. It's some sort of one of the commandments of the global warming cult, which seems to want to stick its fingers into every aspect of our lives, what you can drive, where you can go, if you can fly or not, oh yeah, and what you can eat. Gosh, it's almost like this really wasn't about you know, some sort of environmental thing, but really was about power. The war on meat is really part and parcel of the war on outsiders. It's something we like, something we enjoy, something they want to control and deny us just to show they can. And same with guns. Now, do you, do you think the, the presence of 15 million assault weapons in the hands of law-abiding American citizens. Is that really a problem? No, and, and science teaches us that because if you look at the statistics, essentially none of them are used in crimes. Yes, every once in a while some uh, sociopath goes out on a shooting spree, a sociopath or jihadi or you know, like that idiot in New Zealand. Um, but statistically, that, that's almost non-existent. Out of, you know, 15 million such weapons, what? One, two get used for some sort of horrible, violent crime? It's, again, it's not, you know, an indictment of all owners of these things. There's always going to be a freak. And yet they want to ban them. And why do they? So, so their banning isn't about prevention. It isn't about what they say it's about. It's about control. And that's the same thing with meat. Lovely, delicious, seared, charred, grilled meat. They want to be able to tell us no. They want to be able to tell us how to live, how to think, what to feel. They do that in everything. Why not meat? Of course meat. It's something we really like. It's something we identify. It's part of our culture. If they can take that away, that is an exercise of power. And you know, for some people, 
exercising power is everything. It's their joy. It's what makes them go. And the ability to tell those redneck, Jesus love, and gun have, and knuckle drag Americans, they can't have their barbecue. Well, that's just, that's just fun. That's just fun for them. But I have a better idea. Would you like to hear it? Here's my better idea. How about I do exactly what I want to do? How about I say exactly what I want to say? How about I eat exactly what I want to eat? Oh, and, and if you leftists don't like it, y'all can kiss my ass. This is Take That with Kurt Schneider. Hey, if you like what I'm doing here outside the paywall, check out what's in the paywall. But I want you to go over here first. There's a Twitter thing up there. I want you to hit it. There's a Facebook thing over here. I want you to share it. There's another little thing there. Hit that. I want you to subscribe to Rebel Media. I want you to be part of what we're doing here. And be part of what I'm doing here every Tuesday and Friday. Read my town hall columns every Monday and Thursday at townhall.com. Follow me on Twitter at Kurt Schlichter. And get my book. Militant Normals, that's nonfiction, and Wildfire, that's fiction, and it's a lot of fun. I'll see you again soon here on Take That with Kurt Schlichter.